everybody, welcome back to the channel. Please make sure you subscribe and like and please share. Today we're going to be creating a chute bag template using Microsoft Word. I'm not sure if Cricut Design Space, um, how to create a chute bag template on it. I have never created one on there. I've always used Microsoft Word. So for those of you that use Cricut Design, and want to come learn how to use Microsoft Word, this video is for you guys. So let's get started. Um, I'm going to start with the clean slate. So first thing first, I'm going to go to layout, orientation, landscape. Landscape gives you more room. Next thing, I'm going to insert five different shapes. Um, and I'll explain to you once I get all the shapes together of why I use five different shapes. So my height needs to be 6.44 and my width needs to be 2.52. Then I will right click, copy and paste. And I will change the width of this one to 2.32. Paste it to the side. Next I will insert two, two more shapes. And this one, I needed the height to be 3.28 and the width to be 5.45. You can either wait till you get all of your shapes on your page before you line them up, or you can go ahead and be lining them up as you place them on your um your canvas so I'm going to right click copy and paste okay now that I have that on here I'm going to do what I call my design headers you can call yours whatever you would like but um I call mine my design headers because I feel like it just brings the bring you know funness and appeal to the ship bag. So now I'm going to insert those. Go to shapes, and you just you can make it whatever size you really want to. I just feel it, make it the same size as my page, my ship bag page. I'm going to copy because I need one for the bottom if your shapes are a little off in size it's okay because the headers are going to um, cover them anyways if that makes sense and plus when you cut it'll clean it up okay so I have this now, oh, and let me explain to y'all why I'm fixing this, the reason why I use all of the squares I use. I use the squares because I use it as a guide. This is my front and this is my back. I use it as a guide so I, what I'm trying to place on the front, it doesn't collide with what's on the back. And what I'm placing on the black back doesn't collide with what I'm placing on the front. So that's why I use them. And now when you get ready to print, your lines will not show. Because I'm going to show you how to remove your lines. So let's design it. <clears throat> okay, first we're going to use this square. We're going to go to shape format, shape fill. We're going to go down to texture, more texture. And we're going to go to picture and texture fill. We're going to go to insert from file. Pictures. I'm doing a black and white thing with purple. So I'm going to do my black and white polka dots. So I'm going to insert that. So once you've inserted that, you go to your next block. You go back up to shape fill, texture, more texture, picture and texture fill, insert from file. And now I want to do my black and white stripes at the bottom. Okay. So now that I have that, I don't like how it's black on this side. And you can still see that little white on that side. 
So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to change it a little bit. So now that's better to me. It looks more even. So now what I'm going to do is, since I have my shapes, I'm going to show you how to remove your lines. So I'm going to click on my shape. I'm going to go up here to where it says Shape Fill. I'm going to go down to Shape Outline. And I'm going to click No Outline. And I will do that for both um, shapes. And then you, you can either do all of them now. I don't. Um, but you can go ahead and do all of your shapes now so you won't have to worry about it in the end. But I normally do mine once I decorated everything, then I go back and remove all of my lines before I print. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to go to. I want to add a frame onto this. So I'm going to search for a frame that I already have in my wedding files. If you don't, you can always look on Google and find the perfect frame. So this is my frame. I don't want it to be gold. I want it to be more of a silver. So I'll come up here to make sure you're on picture format. I'll come up here to color and I'll change it to um, silver. I don't want the white in the back. So I'm going to make it more of a grayish color. So I'll go to color tone and I'll change it. Or if you wanted this color, this gray, or whatever color you want. Okay, so now that I've done that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to my search bar. And I'm going to type in, um, well, I'm not going to type in, I'm going to search for insert word art. If yours is up here somewhere, then that's fine. Mine is not it's in my search bar. And I'm going to type in Happy 15th. So I'm going to change the color of it to purple. And I'm going to change my font. I get all of my fonts from um, thefun.com. They're all free. All the essays, you either tip them or leave a donation. So I'm going to change the size of it to 60. Okay. Place that there. So now what I'm going to do is go back up to my search bar, to my word art again. I don't want to type it all together because... It just be too spaced out for me. And I'm going to type in birthday. And now I'm going to change the color of it to purple. And I'm going to change the size of it to 60. And I'm going to also change the font. So now I have my happy 15th birthday. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to insert a picture of the birthday girl on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going, I already have the picture of her saved on my laptop. So I'll just search for it. Okay, now that I have her picture, um, they didn't want the whole, they just wanted her face. So now I want to add some flowers around it. So I'm going to go to insert pictures, this device. Um, go to my pictures, to my flower folder. And again, I'm doing purple. So I have all of these purple flowers and I want to use this one. And I think I got this flower off of Google if I'm not mistaken. Knowing designs like this, Google is really your best friend. So I'm going to place one here. And I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste. And I'm going to go up here. And I'm going to flip it horizontal. 
and I'm going to place it right there. Her face is still showing, but it's like covering up where you edit the picture and stuff. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, insert her day. So I'm going to go back to my word art. And I'm going to type in her name. Okay. And I'm going to change the, um, the size to 60. And I'm going to change the font of it to match the um happy birthday. I'm going to make it purple. Okay, and why I already have her name lit up, I'm going to show you what else I'm going to do. I'm going to go where it says quick styles and I'm going to go to the A that's glowing. And I'm going to do more glow colors. I'm going to do a white glow. And I'm going to place it here. It's only so you can see it better. So I'm going to do the same thing for um, my happy birthday. I'm going to come up here, go to glow, more glow colors, and I'm going to do white. And I'll do the same thing for birthday. Come up here, glow, more glow colors, and I'll do white. Okay, so after you've done that, um, let's move the happy birthday up just a little bit so we can move the birthday up just a little bit. Yeah, so it'll be all in her head. Okay, so the front is finished as you can see. front is finished so now let's work on our sides if we may okay so let's do our sides again I want to do I don't want to do a polka dot or a stripe back background I mean back side so I want to do flowers I already have a um a purple flower like background so I'm gonna use that so I go to my background photos and see if I have it I still have it right here so I don't know if I bought this or got it off of Google but I'm sure I got it off of Google but you see how blurry it is and then it's showing where you got it from we're gonna tile the picture and you see how it's saying all of that it's okay it's fixable there you go still be a little like that and then you just come over here and you do the same thing so now that we have that finished we're going to do our um design headers as i call them so i'm going to go over here you don't have to once you use this you don't have to keep going to insert and to um pictures and all of that stuff i mean from shape format shape fill texture and more textures once it's on the side it's not going to go anywhere unless you move it so i'm going to go to picture or texture field i'm going to go to insert file and i want to um put my stripes on the top see how it's blurry i'm going to click tile picture as above you can always change the size that you want over here on your side where your scale X and Y are. I like mine's a little smaller. So that's why I do mine's like that. But you can do yours whatever way you see fit. But that's just how I like mine. So the bottom I'm gonna insert my um my polka dots at the bottom. So I'm gonna go back to pictures and I'm gonna do my polka dots at the bottom. And now that I've done that. See, I don't like mine tiled, so I'll do mine like that. So now I'm going to insert one of my um my nutrition facts, my birthday nutrition facts. You can either get them from SC or from Google. It's your choice, or you can make your own. One amazing birthday. I'm gonna insert that. 
and then I'm going to insert a barcode that I have. You can also get your barcodes from the same place um, or you can make your own. Um, I'm going to insert that one. I don't want it gray. I want it black. And I want it to be a little more transparent. So I'm going to change that. Okay, so now that that side is done, I'm going to come up here and leave a message to the guest from the birthday girl. And she wants it to say, Thank you for coming out and celebrating and celebrating with me. Enter, enter, love, get. Thank you for coming out and celebrating with me. Once that's done, I make it small enough to fit into that other square on the side over here. I don't want that font. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this font to match everything else. And then I'll make it smaller. And then I'll make it bolder. And then I'll add the glow that I added on everything else to my words also so it can be more readable. And you guys, after I um, remove all of my outline, that is basically it. You can send everything to the printer, print it out, and um, design your chip bags. I will be posting another video of me showing you guys how to put together your own um, your chip bag so be on the lookout for that um again please continue to like and share the videos we're a new channel we're growing um i love helping people or showing people my way of doing things um my my way is my way. Um, how everybody else does theirs is how they do how they do theirs. Um, again, I thank y'all. Please continue to like and share. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Again, I thank y'all so very much. And stay tuned for the next video of me showing you guys how to put your chip bags together. Thank you. Have a nice day.